hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's have a look on the advanced blending options of uh, the layer so I've got this layer I'm just double clicking it and you have a lot of uh, layer styles uh, if you click the bevel embos you get the bevel embos here so I'm not talking about that there is a blending option here so the first uh, and foremost thing is we have uh, blending mode and opacity so these are not very unique as you could see you have the opacity option here okay and you also have the blending mode you can choose the blending mode here so the same thing uh, applies here if you want to try okay so those are the blending modes let me apply to the multiply and then choose it to something so you should be able to see that values changed here okay so that's not uh, very much relevant uh, to coming this place because you have that options outside there then we have fill opacity okay now you might be wondering okay there is an opacity which is uh, making it transparent and you have uh, fill opacity that is also making it transparent but what's the difference okay let's see um, by adding some text here so I'm going to put a text Okay, so I'll be adding a effect here that is bevel emboss and then Okay, you got that nice effect and you could also just go for an inner glow which is again I've added something like red Now you should able to see I've got this text. I just uh, zoom in a little bit now this text layer okay we have the opacity where the overall layer becomes transparent but when I go to the fill opacity uh, it only affects the uh, the layer but it's not affecting its uh, effects actually okay so that's something uh, really cool about this uh, fill opacity so that gives an extra control on you know making the text part as transparent and rest of them are opaque as it is so we have uh, the blend interior effects group option which is right now um, isolating that I mean it's not touching that so it, it will generally not touch the satin or inner glow or any other overlays which we have there okay so that is only affecting the bevel embos you could uh, try exploring with a drop shadow and then go to the blending options and then see it's not touching the shadow also it's only touching the inner glow effect so if you hover the cursor here it tells that inner glow satin and overlay these are the options this is going to affect so when I switch it on the, the, those effects are gone okay and then we have this nice option called knockout so I'll say shallow so it has made uh, this layer as transparent I'll show you how it is going to work for that I'll switch off the layer effect and also we'll try to do certain things in the group okay and uh, let's keep it simple we'll not complicate it okay that's the text and then we have uh, okay uh, a photograph let's try to have a look a closer look on this so we have a bride we have an old man we have a portrait again then a portrait so you see there are four different images now I'm going to select and then when I say knockout shallow okay uh, you should able to see it has uh, affected all the layers uh, below that I mean uh, I could directly see the lady okay here and um, if I move this okay it's the lady uh, what all became transparent is it has made uh, the three layers as transparent and 
when I say deep uh, it should generally cut out more deep into the layer so how that works I'll show you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two layers uh, with the text okay press ctrl G and then select these two layers press ctrl G then open up all the layers double click and you should able to see uh, when I am saying none it is only affecting the transparency when I uh, open it to knockout it has cut that uh, uh, male portrait the boys portrait and the female portrait is also not visible directly I could see the old man so it has um, knockout here is nothing but making things transparent so it has made transparent of the layers which are beneath the layer which you have selected all are directly cut out just knocked out until where until this group is there it's not touching the old man but when I say deep it also affects the next layer okay it goes deep into the layer stack so it cuts cut outs everything which comes uh, through the layer stack here so that is uh, basically uh, deep or shallow means so knockout is all about that so let me come here to this layer and we have this nice option of uh, red channel okay so we are only keeping the red channel here as opaque and rest of them are gone so you can choose uh, in which channel to be completely transparent here uh, let me try to work on uh, only one image so I am making this uh, layer this is only one single layer I am just switching off everything you could uh, you could see this is now a red channel okay so let's make a copy of this uh, there are three layers so the first layer is red channel then we have the second layer which is going to be the green channel and the third layer is going to be blue channel I should be able to see this is blue only blue only green and only red so when I switch all of them that's uh, three layers actually they are transparent as you could see there is no blending mode required and the best part is if you just go close select one of the layer and then just move it one or two pixels side and I've selected the blue and I'm moving it a few pixels up okay I'm just doing it a little bit uh, more okay so that you could able to see a more clear effect now what I'm trying to do here is a chromatic aberration effect I should able to this, see the spillover effect here so that's something really cool about this red green and blue channels uh, here I've, I've just uh, switched off all the layers here and I'm just keeping these two layers one is the lady and another one is the text okay so we have a, a feature called clipping mask if I hold alt and then just click on the uh, on the line between these two layers you know uh, the layer which is uh, below will serve as the opacity mask and it will make this layer uh, opacity or uh, masked out as per oh, the content of this layer so this is serving as the mask layer for it the layer should be below so hold alt and just click here and then you should able to see uh, I have made that lady as a cutout and the text is serving as the mask for that so you know that uh, we have this fill opacity when I reduce it's affecting the content of the layer it's not touching the effects right it's not touching the effects however if I have a inner glow and then if I go there okay it's not touching the inner glow also you have an option that okay exclude that uh, interior effects and uh, the best part is you can now exclude the overall transparency of that layer okay so 
just by switching off that all effects will be switched off now we have the blend clipped uh, layers as group option which is actually uh, excluding the clip information so which is there on the top so the fill opacity was making everything transparent in the content so you are like okay I don't want to affect uh, to the clipped information which is the lady you could see that's on off but when I switch it off it's not affecting it at all uh, let me switch off that and then go for the transparency it's not touching the effects as the inner glow we have okay so we have a layer mask and a vector mask options so what that actually does so let me go to this layer okay add a layer mask and uh, I'm going to take a brush well, let me put the layer mask and uh, hide all first uh, I'll delete it layer mask hide all so everything is black I'm going to paint uh, white the hard brush so only just revealing this part of the face now if I select this layer and then apply bevel emboss okay you should able to see that bevel effect applied to the layer okay now if I go to the blending options uh, you could see uh, the layer mask is not showing that effect on I mean the the bevel emboss is not impacting that when I switch this option off now this thing works for vector mask if you have done masking with the vector type which is not a layer mask so vector mask basically uses pen tool for masking here we used the pixels which is by the brush so those are these effects so you can avoid that thing so I have this uh, bottle here I've just uh, it's a simple black and white image uh, and then we have a gradient on the bottom so I'm going to select uh, the blending options and you should able to see uh, this layer which means the selected layer and we have underlying layer which is this uh, gradient so here when I just uh, there are two points here just I need to click and then drag it so what is happening here is uh, it is gradually making this uh, image as transparent based on its color value okay uh, so I can make a certain part of the image transparent like that uh, just like we do keying so this uh, slider uh, is used to uh, mask out the white part of the picture if I generally hold alt and click then that is going to break it now you could able to see I'm just trying to make it a little bit more refined uh, when it comes to the cleaning but, but again you need to uh, make sure that there should be nice contrast in the image which is not really happening here but uh, that's a good way to you know remove things now here uh, if I just use this slider all black part will be isolated you're generally removing that thing and uh, very similarly we have uh, this one which is going to take the underlying channel now when I'm increase when I'm dragging this up you should able to see at this level there's a gray color hope so when it's triggered that gray value it starts trimming out the foreground layer based on its background and uh, you can do that from outside in also again you can hold alt and then separate it and then you can use that for blending um, you don't have more advanced level of control in this um, and it's not uh, generally suiting the result but in some cases it does a really great job and you have a channel wise keying which will again uh, see the particular channels red value and then it starts isolating
for example here i have got this photograph and when i am dragging it up should able to see certain part of the image is becoming transparent it's purely based on the value of uh, the color okay so you could see the whole overall shit and this part has become uh, transparent uh, let's say if i am choosing a red channel and then drag it you should able to see that red uh, colored area is completely uh, becoming a cut out however red is uh, will be there in the white color as one of the channel red green and blue so it's isolating the white color also so don't think that when i drag the red it only touches the red it also affects the bright white color because you know red green blue mix together and become white so that's how this uh, options will work uh, you could generally um, refine and get more control over the picture with these tools and uh, all images may not give you that pleasing result